Hi friends, this is Ms. Reynolds and my advisory. I'm going to read you a story from Australia called The Little Brown Bush Rat. And this story, it says every animal in the Australian bush is good at something. Everyone that is except little brown bush rat. Right there. He can't jump or run very fast. He isn't even very pretty, whatever his mom says. But when a bushfire, that's Australian for wildfire, begins to spread, who will be brave enough to save the day? As the sun shone down on the dusty red earth, one of the Australian outback, a little brown bush rat, made his way home. On the way home, on the way, oh, okay, on the way he came across a group of animals talking loudly. They were busy discussing what it was that each of them did best. The shot was amazed. He couldn't run very fast or jump very well, and despite what his mother said, he didn't think, he didn't think he was very beautiful. He was also pretty sure that if he tried to hang upside down by his tail, something very nasty would happen. On One by one, the other animals spoke up. The rainbow lorikeet was the most colorful. The duck-billed platypus was the most was the best swimmer. I am by far the most beautiful," said the li bird as he displayed his magical feathers. "I can jump higher than anyone else," said the kangaroo as he cleared a particular t particularly tall bush. "I can hang upside down by my tail," said the possum. And they all agreed that no one could possibly do that quite so well. Well, I can run the fastest, said the emu. And he ran round and round the clearing very fast indeed. The echidna had the best, <laughs> the best no nose for miles around. Even the lazy koala could sleep for longer than anyone else. Bushrat sighed miserably and wiped away a tear. I'm just a scrawny little brown bush rat who's no good at anything, he thought to himself. He was wandering sadly off into the bush when suddenly he heard a commotion behind him. He turned around to see the womp the wampu fruit d dove coming come bursting into the clearing. Fire, she squawked. Everyone was silent, and then jumped up and down. The emu ran round and round in circles. The stress was all too much for the lazy koala who promptly fell asleep. Only one animal managed to keep calm. The little bush rat sniffed the air and followed his nose toward the fire. He found it in a small clearing where the hot sun had set fire to a pile of dead leaves. It was only a little fire, but as every bush animal knows, the smallest fire will very quickly turn into a raging bush fire if it is not put out. Through the trees, he could see the river. Bush rat thought for a second and then leapt into action. He started digging and digging and digging until just when he thought he couldn't dig anymore. Whoosh! Bush rat broke through the river bank and the water flooded out. The strong current swept him off his feet and he only just managed to grab a hold of an overhanging twig before the water gushed into the clearing. Tired and wet, Bushrat climbed down the branch and wandered back to the clearing. The water had put out the fire and one by one the other animals returned. The possum was the first to speak. Bushrat saved us. He's the bravest animal in the whole bush. And now they all cheered and cheered. The little bush rat glowed with pride. I'm the bravest, he thought. Hooray, hooray. That evening, with the cheers of the other animals still ringing in his ears, bush rat smiled to himself. I am the best at something after all, he thought. I just didn't know it. I hope you enjoyed our story. Bye.